Let's clear up gay culture. Residents are concerned about living above the new Club Q. People in Colorado Springs say they are concerned about plans for a local nightclub to move into their building. Club Q plans to reopen as the Q at the Satellite Hotel, and construction is already underway. However, there are dozens of apartments on the upper floors, and the residents are concerned about the noise and safety. The LGBTQ plus bar is relocating after the original location was the scene of a mass murder and shooting. Club Q's vice president, Michael Anderson, said the new venue will be more of a lounge, calling it a safe space to fill the hole left in the LGBTQ plus community after the shooting. However, Barbara Williams, who lived in the building for years, says she supports the LGBTQ plus community, but has security problems, uh, concerns with people coming and going, and wants to save her and wants to save her right to privacy and peace, which she fears will be disrupted by putting a club in the building. Williams and some other residents are happy to see the club reopen, just not in the apartment building. Anderson says he's addressing concerns and remains on track to open by the end of the year. Club Q was the very first bar that held a fundraiser for our organization in Colorado Springs. Really? And yes, I do know. I, and I know Michael and a... Anyway, first of all, a couple things I want to mention. The bottom of that apartment building is set up to be retail. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, it's going to be open to commercial business. The actual building has its own security. So therefore, you should be fine as a resident. It's going to be opened up as a lounge, not a club. So your noise and peace and tranquility should be the same as if you had a restaurant that was open until 11 o'clock at night. And frankly, this NIMBY problem of not in my backyard is a pain in my assets. Listen, you are not that entitled, Karen, and all the rest of you that live there. Colorado Springs, I will tell you, has been one of the closest, tightest-knit communities I've had, had the pleasure of being a part of here in the United States. And I think they are so brave and bold. I'm so glad that they are not cowering and that they are opening this lounge to be a safe space. And Michael, we are cheering you on. Keep it up. And do not let these understandably concerned citizens freak any of you out from going and supporting that incredible bar. Thank you. Barbara, 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 <laughs> who apparently does not know a single real tour or gay person or perhaps either. Do you think gay people are going to start to come to the building and the values of it going to go down? Yeah, we typically make neighborhoods Do so you, Barbara, worse, don't we? When the average rent in your building is currently $1,300 a month, you think we're going to knock that down? Keep your mouth shut. If you own something in that building, you probably just made a whole lot of money. Seriously. You know, one thing I'd like to point out I've, I've i see both sides of this to a certain extent i absolutely agree with you on like 98 percent. i will say that i have a former condo owner and i understand that you don't like for the same reason we didn't tend to approve um airbnbs because we wanted to know the people who were coming in and out i get it that said i believe this is an apartment complex not it's a mixed it's apartments use building it's a mixed use yeah. building but are they apartments or do they own the condos because it, it makes them Okay, because if it's just an apartment, then, you know, you, you, if you feel uncomfortable, you need to find a new place. To live. If you're a condo owner, work with your board. Talk about who is going to be allowed, what types of businesses are going to be allowed on the bottom floor. But when Club Q came in, that was allowed. So there's no grandfathering them out whatsoever. They're, they're absolutely yep. have to come in. I respect safety. I know we all want to be able to know our neighbors. But retail on the ground floor, to Jacob's point, is not new. This isn't something they started because uh, the club wanted to come in there. It's all it's been retail space. So mm -hmm. again, NIMBYs, sorry, you're out of luck on this one. If it were a straight jazz bar, would they have a problem? I mean No, but the gays might. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, we won't go. <laughs> and and kudos to the survivors for making this club and yeah. being so resilient for restarting Absolutely. this this um establishment they are a badass community yeah. over there they really are <laughs> they're they don't get nearly enough credit they're amazing